Hey guys, today I've got Coach 1745 for you. It is a 2023 model. We've just gotten it in. Has a knockout paint job on it and the inside is gorgeous too. Let me show you around. It's tough to see with the angle of the sun right now, but there's a lot going on on the paint job there. A lot of cool ghosting. This is our new front end where you have uh, the option to have it filled in with fiberglass so that you can bring the paint job down on it. I think it looks really good on this coach. Black window mask looks really good. I love all the stripes. There's a lot of metallic colors on this coach, so it really looks good in the sunlight. Look how bright that red is. Coach has got a beautifully detailed engine bay with lots of polished stainless. This is the X15 605 horse Cummins. It makes 1,950 pounds of torque. This is the pressure washer with the built-in hose reel storage. It's got an air pressure hose also there that's plumbed through an air doubler for uh, plenty of power to air up tires. Has chrome plated wheels for low maintenance. These are the house batteries. It has eight, it has six 8D AGM batteries, 205 gallons of diesel. On the other side, same bay on the other side, is the other diesel fill and the DEF fill. And it's got the carbon fiber trimmed plumbing bay with a 49 inch television on a power extendable arm. And the electronics bay with the new Newell N1 system that eliminates the fuses, turns them into resettable breakers. This pass-through storage bay has the uh, Dometic freezer in it and then storage on the other side. And this one has built-in trays. These are removable, but these are built-in trays for picnic tables, chairs, and an and organizer caddy on top. Uh, that's where the wand and the extra hose for the pressure washer is stored right now. Up here in the front behind the Newell badge, right underneath the Newell badge is the adaptive cruise control. Behind the Newell badge is the compartment where the generator is. It's a 20 kilowatt four cylinder turbocharged Martin generator that rides on its own air ride chassis and has a built in fire suppression system. Here on the driver's side in the front compartment, we have the chassis fuse box and the uh, primary and backup air compressors. There's also a 110 volt plug built in so that you can charge golf carts and electric bicycles without having to run an extension cord all the way down the side. This is the other side of the pass-through storage bays. They're also trimmed in carbon fiber. This third bay back is the generator cooling bay. It also has the spare sewer hose and uh, the two blue cartridges right there are the uh, cartridges for the deionized water filters that allow you to rinse the coach spot free. We are recharging those. That's why they're off right now. The little white wrench there makes them easy, easy to take off. I took the coach out of detail and pulled it out here so we could have a, uh, a video on it. but. Uh, 
those are very easy to change the resin out in. And then in this compartment, also trimmed in carbon fiber, which I really like, is the uh, sewer compartment. It's got uh, a 143 gallon holding tank and a 143 gallon fresh tank. It has a gray water bypass. That's what the PVC tube that runs down through the center behind the hand wash area is. That allows the shower, washer, and dryer water to go out and avoid the uh, holding tanks. And then you have a 25 foot water hose. You have a built in sewer hose so it doesn't have to be rinsed and stored. You just close the valve and push it back in and then you control the dumping from inside the coach. And then in here is the primary and backup air, um, water pumps. It's a 110 volt head hunter that makes 60 PSI to every faucet on the coach. And then a smaller 12 volt uh, made by Seaflow that is the backup water pump, also useful if you're dry camping. And then this is the manifold system that allows you to shut off any faucet in the coach if you're having a problem and still use everything else. And this is the primary fuel fill, uh, 205 gallons of fuel, 20 gallons of uh, DEF uh, right beside each other, very convenient. And then we also, our upholstery shop makes these little vinyl bibs so that you don't drip fuel or DEF on the uh, stainless. Okay, let's go inside and have a look at the interior. Love the warmth of this coach. It's got great tones. It's a beautiful wine glass cabinet with rocks glasses down below, and then a Miele coffee maker, and a drawer for coffee accessories, and a slide out wine chiller. This is the motorized dinette. The seats come out automatically with uh, bolsters to give room for four people. And then the uh, tabletop slides out with a leaf this is pretty cool. This coach has two sleeper sofas. They're futon style. Both of them have storage underneath. One of my favorite things about this coach is this ceiling. Look how pretty this material is. It almost looks like metallic marble veins. Love how it picks up the light around it.
There's also storage in these little ottomans right here. And they're separate, so you can move them apart and use them at the same time. This is trash can storage with uh, room for trash bags and cleaning supplies behind it. The galley has just over seven feet of counter space. Lots of overhead cabinets. A nice under sink storage. A dish drawer with a couple of big drawers on either side. And then built in silverware organizers and dish organizers and pot and pan. It's got a small slide out pantry here. And a larger one back here on the other side of the refrigerator. The refrigerator is a cafe style double door with a huge freezer drawer underneath. Then this is the coffee storage with the slide out wine cooler below it. And the drawer storage under the uh, dinette. And then more storage under the other sleeper couch. Here is a gorgeous half bath. Wall treatment is cool. It matches the pillows. This is translucent light up quartz. The sun shining on this side of the coach right now, so you don't see it as well, but you will once we go back in the bedroom in the bedroom. The glow off of it's beautiful. These are medicine cabinets. And back here in the master bedroom, the custom art for this coach matches the pillow fabric and the wallpaper in the half bath. Very cool. This is a king size bed. It is retractable and it has storage underneath that is on a powered lift. There you can see what I mean about the countertop. This is the projection system. It has that as opposed to a television, either on a lift or built in um, that blocks the window. So it has the electronics for the surround sound and the Apple televisions and everything to work off of that. And it projects over here onto the window shade, which is awesome. It's a 4K resolution television and it really works well. You have closets on either side. Lots of drawer space down underneath. This is all stuff you would lose if you did a lift television. Another closet over on this side. And then this is the storage under the bed. Had some decor items and the bolsters for the dinette under there right now. I usually keep those in the rear closet to leave this space open, but this is a good spot for them too. And then it has a digital safe.
Look how cool the pocket door is. So we'll open this and then of course the master bathroom. And I've got all the storage open for you to see. This one on the far side of the drawers and the under sink storage is a clothes hamper with a snap out washable liner. Then lots of medicine cabinet space up above. And stacked washer and dryer. And it has room for detergent and fabric softener underneath it. Really nice drawer space and lots of cabinet space, closet space rather. That is the leaf for the table there on the back wall. And the heated towel bar with more storage overhead. I always think these are really cool because Newell, I think this is so smart, but Newell mounts them so that you can see from all three sides when you're getting ready. And we put 110 volt plugs in so that you can leave your shavers and electric toothbrushes inside and not out on the counter. This has been Coach 1745. It is a 2023 model. My name is Brian Pitts. There is an email right down here at the bottom where you can inquire about this or any other coach. And over here is a website where I have other videos. I really appreciate you taking the time to watch. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.